have been a writing team for about five years. We met um, at a program called the BMI Musical Theater Writing Workshop in 2008, and we got assigned to write a song together and um, hit it off and decided to keep writing stuff together. In this, this workshop we, were, we met at, we were trying to think of a, a show to write, and we started writing this huge, big Broadway musical with a thousand-person cast and, you know, a giant orchestra, and we very quickly realized this was not going to be our first show as new writers, that if we really wanted to um, get our names out there and, and uh, get a show, like, immediately up and produced, we should take advantage of the fact that the economy was terrible. People were doing small, yeah. small shows. This and is 2008. This was 2008, of course. Yeah, like the peak <laughs> of the financial disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how could we take that and instead of thinking of it as a limitation, how could we use it to our advantage and use that as like sort of that creative spark? Um, we knew we liked murder mysteries. We knew we liked um, Marx Brothers type of humor. Uh, and we knew we had Joe as a fantastic piano playing singer actor. Um, so we just kind of put those ingredients together, and that was the first that was draft. The impetus, yeah. It is likened to a marriage because it really is. You get to know each other very well because you're spending so much time together. Um, so, like a marriage, it can be challenging and very rewarding, too. <laughs> Which I have to say is it's the challenges that make the rewards all the more rewarding. I enjoy it um, immensely. And that I, I was lucky enough, while Jeff Blumenkrantz was over there, was uh, uh, taking a leave to get to do the show with Brett for mm -hmm. um, for two months. And I'm so I feel so grateful that I had that opportunity. And it's just, it's a blast. You know, there's a a magic to performing that um, that nothing else has creatively and that, that you get this amazing validation and have this amazing experience with a group of strangers. Um, and, and I think there's a part of me that will always want to do that. It is hard because normally when you're in a play you have moments of, in most plays I'll say, you have moments of being able to relax a little bit, to go off stage, to sort of check in and like let it go. In Murder for Two you never have that opportunity yeah. because it never stops and you have, the moments when you are off stage which are like all less than 20 seconds are, um, you're doing stuff, you're handing off your water bottle, you're handing off a costume piece, you're toweling off the sweat, all that kind of stuff. So. Um, uh, it, it is a lot of focus, and a lot of it is starting a thing slowly, a, a, a change from one character to another, a, a bunch of fast lines back and forth, and then speeding it up. So it's very demanding, the show. It is very demanding, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's related to piano playing, too, because, you know, when you're learning a, something on piano, you're learning how to play it very slowly, but as accurately as possible, and then slowly speeding it up. Yeah. It's a murder mystery, but I think even more so it's a love it's a love letter to theatricality and to the, the art form and yeah, like Joe said, it can't be a play. And also, you know what, there's so much you can go see that is touching and gut wrenching and wonderful and every now and then you just want to go laugh for 90 minutes and like that's what I feel like that was our goal with this this is like the, you know what take a night, have a little fun, go see Murder for Two, you're going to laugh you're gonna cry. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna cry things. with laughter. You're gonna feel things um, you didn't know you felt. And you know, and our goal is like if we can just have people leaving with a big smile on our on their face. That was that's the goal. So it's just fun. Yo, well, thank you guys. Thank you, Carmine. Follow us on Twitter, nice Joan Tellen. Hey. <laughs> Buy our sheet music, Young Musical Theater kids. You'll love it.